In 2033, a single pill could rejuvenate your entire body, making you not just feel younger, but look younger, heal faster, think better, literally be more youthful. New research from Harvard's Dr. David Sinclair indicates an age reversal pill is possible and could even happen very soon. Uh, today, we're, we're sending in a paper that describes the next generation of age reversal. Sinclair tweeted about his research, published in the journal Aging, calling it a step towards affordable, whole body rejuvenation. You might assume this is going to be crazy expensive. Which is going to be a thousand times cheaper. Okay, but it's gotta be hard to produce. Any high school student could do it right now in their kitchen. Fine. In this video, I'll show you clips from a recent interview with Dr. Sinclair, and we'll dip our toe in the science and its implications and how soon this technology could be in our hot little hands. Welcome to Lifespan News, I'm Emmett Short. For all the latest breaking information on longevity science, check out lifespan.io or just subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up so we can bring you even more videos like this. Okay, the most recent research published by David Sinclair's team at Harvard is called Chemically Induced Reprogramming to Reverse Cellular Aging. And what this means is they chemically induced reprogramming to reverse cellular aging. Turns out that title was very self-explanatory. If you still feel the need to read the entire paper after really soaking in that title, it's linked in the description, but here are a few key points. They invented new screening methods that can distinguish between young, old, and senescent cells in real time. They found six cocktails that reversed aspects of aging using chemical rather than genetic means. And the chemicals did not result in any loss of cellular identity. Basically no cancer was caused in this experiment. And this is a breakthrough when it comes to cellular reprogramming. See, over a decade ago, using the Yamanaka factors to reprogram cells genetically was first accomplished. And those four Yamanaka proteins collectively known as OSKM, can erase cellular identity, turning a cell into an induced pluripotent stem cell. And this type of cellular reprogramming has immense potential and has even made it into human trials, as David Sinclair explains in a recent interview on the Wisdom 2.0 YouTube channel. But we do uh, reverse aging in mice and we have very positive effects. We reverse uh, blindness uh, and eye damage and we've now reversed the age of the brain and we get learning and memory back. Uh, we've done this uh, blindness recovery in monkeys now and uh, in the next 18 months we'll test our first uh, patient uh, who has either glaucoma or blindness from a stroke in the back of the eye. And so that's where we're at. Extremely exciting, but this style of genetic alteration using Yamanaka factors does have some kinks to be worked out still, including cancer risk. Also, delivery of the genetic material to cells can be tricky and cause complications, leading scientists to look for other small molecules that would mimic the reprogramming actions of the Yamanaka factors. Yamanaka factors. They tested 80 chemical cocktail variants and found six with solid results one of which reversed markers of chronological age by an impressive three years after just four days of treatment. This is a first. These are chemicals acting on cells, reversing age by three years after four days of treatment. Wow. What's better is there was no loss of cellular identity. So skin cells stayed skin cells, heart cells stayed heart cells, which obviously kind of a big deal. And the pill, can you tell us a little bit about the pill? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's in it? It's surprisingly simple to reset the age of tissues and organs once you know how to do it. Cool story. What's in it? Is that need a, that needs another hour of its own? Well, it actually, it, it needs a lawyer and a confidentiality agreement. <laughs> Come on. It's just us. The patent's written. It's going in today anyway, so. No, no, I get it. Capitalism, it's cool. Fruits of your labor and all that. I got it. I got it. I would put it to you that any high school student could do it right now. Um, in their kitchen. So it's it's similar to gene, um, what do you call it, CRISPR or uh, molecular biology. It's, it you know, it can be turned into a kit, can be turned into a pill. DIY fountain of youth? 
I'm so confused. Is he going to be a billionaire because of his patent? Or are people going to be cooking this up in their kitchen for free? All I know is if you could pre-order this kit like a Cybertruck, the research would be so well funded. I mean, right now, they're just treating cells in a dish. So it's probably going to take a lot of money and many years to figure out if this is going to work on humans. I'll throw down a pre-order if it gets me lifetime access. Uh, I don't see any reason why it won't work in animals and then in humans because this process that I'm telling you about is as universal um, on the planet as as really all of biology. I volunteer as tribute. Can we just shoot this straight into my decrepit Achilles tendons? There's really no reason why it shouldn't work in us. Now, I have to be a little bit cautious because we don't know the full safety of what we're doing. We are, so far, are very pleased to see that there's no side effects that are negative. The side effect right now in mice is longevity um, and curing of blindness. These are not bad side effects of a drug. Um, but yeah, it could be that if we turn it on too hard or too long, we get changes in the tissue that lead to cancer. That would be one thing that I could imagine happening like I said, we haven't seen this yet in any of our long-term studies that have gone for over 15 months now. All right, fine. I'll wait. How long do we have to wait, though? That's the big question. And I love how Peter Diamandis grilled David Sinclair on this in an interview, and this is what he said. When will a set of treatments exist that might allow age reversal and be accessible to some segment of the general pos uh, you know, public? All right. Uh, 10 years. 10 years. Beautiful. The implications for a cheap age reversal pill and its effects on humanity are vast and totally unpredictable. But here's a few fun things I've been thinking about. Population growth. This is definitely one way to stop population collapse. I mean, I think we could just all collectively start drinking more and have more of course, then people are going to start worrying about overpopulation. But I'm hopeful that other technologies that are already springing up like lab-grown meat and renewable energy tech will help our society be efficient enough to handle the growth. The labor force. I mean, it's possible we could have an economic boom due to all the newly available workers. I mean, you better work because say goodbye to your inheritance. Family dynamics. Extended lifespan means you could have kids when you're 200, 300, 1,000 years old. The difference between the oldest generation and the youngest generation might be way crazier than it is today. In 300 years, boomers and Gen Z might have way more in common with each other than whatever Epsilon, Gamma, Omega generation is just coming up. Elon Musk is prone to pontificating that ideas die with people and we need people to die so that the younger generation's ideas can proliferate and blossom. But my view is that extreme change coming with technology comes with extreme volatility. So it might be really healthy for a society to have an older generation to help steady them in volatile times. Besides, all these ancient people will look 22 years old, so maybe their minds will become more adaptable along with their bodies. Extended adolescence. How many people feel like they had to start their work life too early or had a kid too early or didn't travel when they were young because of a lack of money? And now you're older and you feel like your youth passed you by and it's too late. Today, people in their 20s are full-fledged adults, but in the future of perpetual age, Adolescence might end at 50 or 60 or 100. I have no idea if this is a good or a bad thing. On the one hand, it might make for a more fun life with a ton of great experiences. But on the other hand, maybe people would be less motivated to achieve impressive accomplishments and careers. I mean, if they could always just justify waiting till next year to start. All right, now that I've pontificated enough, why don't you tell me in the comments how you think an age reversal pill would change society? And if you missed our last video on when people should die, you should definitely watch that. It's linked right here. If you liked this video, make sure you click that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'm Emmett Short, and I'll see you next time on Lifespan News.